In this section, we're going to talk about the volume of pyramids and cones. A pyramid is like a prism, only it has one base instead of two, and it has a vertex that's opposite the base. The height is going to be the perpendicular distance from the vertex down to the base. Now, one thing that's a little different with pyramids is if you look at a prism, all the sides are going to be rectangles except the bases. Well, with pyramids, all the sides are actually triangles except the bases, with the exception, of course, of a triangular pyramid. The volume of a pyramid is one-third the volume of the prism with the same volume. So three of these triangular pyramids could fit inside a triangular prism that has the same height and base area. The volume formula is one-third times the area of the base times the height. So let's look at some examples. Here we have a square pyramid whose height is 1 and base is 1. So for the formula, we have 1 third times the area of the base times the height. And we know the area of the base is replaced with the formula S squared since we're dealing with the square. So we're going to replace S with 1 and H with 1. When we multiply, we end up with 1 third units cubed. Here's another example. In this example, we have a triangular pyramid. The base is a triangle, and the height of the base is 2.2. The side length here is 4.8, and we're told that it's an equilateral triangle. So we know that this not only this side is 4.8, but all three sides of that base triangle are 4.8. And that's really all the information we need. The 6.2 is extraneous information. So the formula is one-third times the area of the base, which is a triangle, times the height. So we're going to put in the formula one-half base times height in the place of the base area formula for a triangle. So we're going to substitute B with 4.8 because all the sides of this base triangle are 4.8. So this side that's perpendicular to the height is 4.8, and the height is 2.2. .2. And then the height of the entire figure, the three-dimensional figure, is 3.6. Once we calculate all of this, we end up with 6.336 units cubed. Let's look at another example. Find the volume of the square pyramid shown at the right. Here we know the base of the square is 12. And since it's a square, it means all the sides are squares. And the height is 25 centimeters. So we have the formula one-third, the area of the base times the height. Since the base is a square, we're going to substitute the formula S squared in the place of B. So S is 12, and the height of the whole figure is 25. We're going to multiply 1 third times 12 squared times 25 in our calculator, and we get 1,200 centimeters cubed. In the next example, we're asked to find the volume of a pentagonal pyramid. And we don't know an area formula for pentagon, so it's really good they went ahead and gave us the base area. So this one should be pretty easy. We're just going to put 6 in the place of the capital B, because they went ahead and told us the whole area of the base. And then the height of the entire figure is 2, and we multiply to get 4. Next, we're going to talk about cones. And cones are a lot like pyramids, only the bottom is a circle instead of a polygon. And then the top is a vertex. And the height of cones is the perpendicular distance from the vertex to the base, which is your circle. Again, it's, we still have the same exact formula. Volume equals one-third the area of the base times the height. And we know that circles have an area of pi r squared. So that's what we'll be putting in the place of b for all of our uh, cones. Here's an example. We know that the length of the diameter is 20 centimeters, so the radius is going to be 10 centimeters, and the height is going to be 30. So the radius is 10, the height is 30. So we're going to type in 1 third times pi times 10 squared times 30 in our calculator, round to the nearest tenths, and we get 3,141 and 2 tenths centimeters cubed. Volume is always units cubed. In the next example, we know that 5 is our radius, 7 is our height. We just put it in our formula. 
5 in the place of radius, 7 in the place of height. Type into our calculator 1 third times pi times 5 squared times 7. And we end up with 183.3 rounded to the nearest tenths centimeters cubed. So the volume of pyramids and combs will always be one third the area of the base times the height.